Google's new acquisition is Nest, you know, the smart thermostat and fire detector company. Ubuntu Touch just lost support for a ton of devices you actually care about, and HTC is about to break the hearts of a ton of legacy users. I'm Jaime Rivera, and in a perfect world, the weekend would last a lot longer than just two days, and I really need that. But this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Google has just acquired a new company, which is the typical thing. This time they acquired Nest, which is famous for their smart thermostat and smart fire detector. And you know, this is all part of that whole Energy Sense project that was leaked recently. The rumors are there and everything. But the question is, how exactly is this going to mix with Android? And what's going to happen to iOS users that currently have support for Nest? And Motorola, you know, another Google company, has just updated their new Motorola Assist application for the Moto X. And for those of you that have been under the water and don't really know what it is, this is probably one of the coolest features of the Moto X, which allows you to control everything from your phone while you're driving in a safe way. And this time you can actually respond to text messages with your voice and also control the music application and music as well with your voice without the need of interacting with the phone. It's great to see these applications for Motorola. They make the Moto X unique. We just wish they brought them to other phones. but. Anyways, that's the price for getting a Moto X. And speaking of Android, even though we have a rough time believing that the leaks of the Nokia Normandy are of an Android phone, the leakers continue saying that this is an Android phone. And this time, we get the first leaked photographs of the phone actually turned on. And uh, either they've made Android or it's new Android UIs flat and ugly, or this is just another Asha operating system. So stay tuned, let's see what we get, because this is definitely gonna be an entry level phone. Now let's go through some kind of odd news as you remember that Ubuntu operating system running on a Meizu phone last week in leaks. As it turns out, it seems that this will be an exclusive deal because first of all, Ubuntu Touch could run on almost every Nexus device. But as of today, Canonical has confirmed that the operating system will now be running only on the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 7, and they are not bringing support to the Nexus 5. So this clearly means that they're making this an end of life thing. The question is, uh, why are they going exclusive if Ubuntu has always been open source? I don't know what's going on here. And finally, for the very disappointing news of the day, even though HTC has done a fabulous job with software updates on their phones from 2012 and on, those of you that are running an HTC One X and even the One X Plus will not be getting Android 4.4 KitKat. The company has just confirmed this. And this is just really, really sad because obviously the One X Plus and the One X are really good phones. A lot of you are still on contract with the One X Plus, which is really odd, but that leads me to the question of the day. What do you feel about HTC dropping support to phones that are pretty much still within their two year time frame? Because in my particular case, I can't believe that the iPhone 4 has iOS 7, even if it's a crop down version of iOS 7. I would want Android 4.4 KitKat, which can actually run on something much lesser than the Tegra 3 and not have these issues. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.